Hi everybody, welcome back to Podasso, the channel where we talk about self-publishing with KDP and print-on-demand with Merch by Amazon. My name is Claudia and in today's video I'll show you how to do the copyright check for the keywords you're gonna use for your Amazon KDP books. First of all, please put a like to this video if you like this type of content and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me. Now let's start with the topic of today, which is copyright. Copyright is extremely important in the process of self-publishing. You have to make sure that any of your keywords, that is to say words or combination of words that you put inside the book, on the cover of the book, or also images that you put on the cover or inside the book are not copyrighted. First of all, let's go check Wikipedia for a precise definition of copyright. Copyright is a type of intellectual property that gives its owner the exclusive right to make copies of a creative work, usually for a limited time. The creative work may be in a literary, artistic, educational or musical form. Now let's go back to Amazon.com. We are publishing books, so we have to make sure that anything that's inside or outside the book, that is to say on the cover, it's not a clear reference to someone else's artistic work. Anything that has to do with music, movies, with TV series, with books, any artistic type of work is off limits. We cannot use that. Many of you ask me, can I use graphics depicting a specific anime character on my book cover? And the answer is no. Because even if the trademark check is positive, meaning that there is no trademark on the name of that character, the creator of that anime still owns the copyright for that image of the character. You cannot even use your own drawing of that character on your book cover. Now it's time to make some examples. So I'm gonna go on Amazon.com. I search for dinosaur composition notebook for kids. So in this case, we got dinosaur, composition notebook, dinosaur cute white ruled line composition, notebook dino gift for kids, boys and girls. So when you're browsing for keywords and looking for something that's profitable, you have to make sure first that there is no trademark on those keywords and second of all, there is no copyright. I have already made a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make the trademark check for your books. I leave the link here, so if you haven't watched it, after you finish this one, you can go and check the other one. So let's just browse up here and take a look at the results. We got composition notebook, dinosaur, cute white ruled composition notebook, dino for kids. So this is actually the same author, so probably used the same keywords, the same sequence, composition notebook, cute, trendy, dinosaur, white ruled paper notebook, pretty white blank line workbook for teens, draw and white journal for kids, and so on. Let's for example check this one, because this is not just a simple dinosaur composition notebook for kids. This author actually used like a, a funny quote, ready to crush kindergarten, and then he targeted some specific keywords in his niche, so dino, dinosaur, composition notebook, kids, grades, K2, primary, draw, story paper, and so on. So the first thing I want to do is to check the trademark. And since I've already made a, a video about that, I'm going to be doing the trademark check very quickly. I go here on the tmsearch.uspto, click on basic work mark search, and then I'm going to write my keywords. In my case, it's ready to crush kindergarten. I click on submit query. And when you get this message, it means there is no trademark on these keywords. So you're good to go. You can go back to your product and continue your trademark check. You should do your trademark check for each and every one of these words. But as you can see, these are all generic words like dino, dinosaur, composition, notebook. So I think they're not risky. I always check on everything, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to skip to the copyright part. And you want to make sure that this phrase is not related to someone else's work. That is to say a movie, a song, or a book, or any other type of artistic endeavor. So what I usually do is go on Google, and here I just type my keyword, and then click on search. Now what happens if the keyword is copyrighted is that as first results you should see references to someone else's work, like for example a Wikipedia page 
or a website but as you can see the top results on this page as well as the final ones are related to print-on-demand platforms that are selling this type of shirts with this quote ready to crush kindergarten and what it means is that this phrase does not belong to anyone or is not a part of a bigger project a song a movie or it's not a quote of a TV series, it's not a reference to a fictional character of a book, and so on. Now, we cannot have a 100% guarantee that this phrase is not copyrighted, because we unfortunately don't have a copyright database, as we do for trademarks. But we can use common sense and say that since everybody seems to be using this type of phrase on all types of products, but mainly t-shirts, we can assume that this this phrase can be also used for books with no problem because if it was copyrighted all these products eventually and all these accounts would actually end up being deleted by the platforms like Merch by Amazon, like Etsy, like Spreadshirts, T-Shirt Palace and so on. You can see there's so many different platforms of print on demand that are displaying this type of product that we can pretty sure be safe and go on with publishing this quote. Okay, so let's go on and make a second example. I've already checked for something that is actually copyrighted and I'm going to type the keyword here, mermaid composition notebook. And there you go. I discovered this notebook a few months ago when I was looking for keywords. This one caught my attention because it was selling so well. Scroll down and go on the bestseller rank. We can see that it has 1061 as a BSR, which is incredible because if you go on the BSR calculator, and we insert here the number 1061 books and click here. We can say that this book sells around 69 copies a day. Now, this is not a perfect number of the actual sales that this publisher is making, but it comes pretty close. And 69 copies a day, even if it were 50 copies a day, is a lot of money. So this guy here is crushing KDP. So my first reaction when I saw this BSR was, wow, I want to make a mermaid composition book as well because this one is selling so well. I just want to make something in the same niche, targeting the same keywords. And so as a next step, I analyzed every single keyword in this title. And so the first one is mermaid. It's a pretty general word, so there's no need to check that out. But Naya really caught my attention because I don't know what Naya was if it was a reference to a mythological creature or just a random name of a mermaid. Since I didn't know that, I took this word, copied it, and the first thing I did was to do a trademark check on it. And so I went on this platform, as you saw before, I pasted here the word and I clicked on submit query. As you can see, there are many results. Many of these are dead, so it's not a problem for us. And some others are combined with the other words. These are not a problem as well and the rest I've already checked them all manually and there was no trademark on this word and so the second step I took was to copyright check this word and so what I did was to go on Google and here I wrote my keyword so you can write mermaid Naya or just Naya in my case I want to make this easier so I'm going to go for mermaid Naya and there you go. Now you can see the difference. In the first example with the dinosaur composition notebook, the first results and actually all the results in the first page were links to print-on-demand platforms that were selling that shirt with that quote, meaning that no one has rights on that quote. In this case though, the first two links are two Wikipedia pages about this Naya mermaid. So what I did was clicking on the first one and I discovered that Naya is a mermaid from the TV show Mako Island of Secrets. There is no discussion. We cannot use Mermaid Naya in a title of our book because we are infringing on someone else's copyright. 
in my opinion, is better to play safe and do not use any reference to a specific character, whether it's from TV or a movie or a song. Simply do something generic, like the one we saw as the first example. It was a simple dinosaur. And at this point, you could even say, well, this book has been selling for three years now, making a lot of money to the self-publisher and nothing has happened. This is still live and the publisher still got his or her account. But please keep in mind that having a book gone live does not mean our book is safe. There's always the chance that maybe the company or the creators of this show will contact KDP asking to put down this product and as a result of that KDP might not only take down this book but also terminate the account of the publisher who made this. So always follow the rules, do your trademark check, do your copyright check. And my final advice would be if you find a profitable keyword and you make both the trademark and the copyright checks and still you have some doubts, do not publish. Do not publish the keyword with that book because working safe on KDP means earning so much more money over the years than working like this and choosing to pick copyrighted or trademark keywords. Yes, you may earn a lot of money in the short term, but what you actually need is a long term vision and that is way more money on my opinion. So if you like this video, please put a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to receive a notification in the future when the next video is out, click on the bell. Having said that, see you in the next one.